So if you are a new rider, perhaps looking for an A2 bike, maybe you're graduating A2 and you're looking for your first big bike, or maybe you're a returning rider, someone who's been off the road for a few years and you're looking for a bike that you can grow in confidence in and find your wheels again. You're looking for something that is user-friendly, comfortable to sit on, something that you can commute to work on, maybe do some longer distance. And ultimately, you're looking for a bike that has that classic motorcycle profile. Well, maybe you should consider one of these. Greetings, welcome to the channel. I'm Eddie Set Go, and this is the Triumph Street Twin. Parked near the back of a busy Triumph lineup, packed with heritage machines, sports roadsters, and adventure bikes, sits a motorcycle that holds a secret. Not claiming to be the lightest or the fastest naked bike, at 198 kilograms dry, the Street Twin could easily be overlooked if you were focusing on statistics. But in the real world, stats don't really matter. Quite often, riding a motorcycle means just putting your helmet on, your jacket, your gloves, and seeing what's around the next bend. This is what the Triumph Street Twin is all about. A user-friendly Bonneville designed to cruise, tour, commute and explore on. And do it all in style. And in 2019, Triumph injected a few more horsepower here and a little bit more torque there to make this 900cc Twin a huge amount of fun to ride. Now, you may have noticed the number 900 laser etched onto the side of the engine casing here. And for those of you who are new to biking, you might be thinking 900 cc's, it sounds like quite a lot, sounds like quite a big engine. And of course, there are a lot of motorcycles out there with a similar engine capacity to this that go very, very fast. But that's not what this Street Twin engine is all about. Uh, this engine produces a very practical 65 brake horsepower at around 7,000 RPM. Not too much to frighten you, but enough to get you through most riding situations and out of danger if you need to. But the exciting thing about this engine is the torque, and that's where you get this HT high torque label next to the 900 here. Uh, the Street Twin produces 80 newton meters of torque at around 4,000 RPM. So without even breaking a sweat, this bike's going to be able to pull you wherever you need to go and do it effortlessly. So whereas other bikes with these big 900cc engines producing reams of power, this bike is all about going all day, every day, without even breaking a sweat. The other benefit to the Street Twin is you can get it restricted to A2. So for those of you looking for an A2 bike, you can jump on the Street Twin and learn the ropes, learn the road and unrestrict it when you're ready. The low seat height, the wide bars, the user-friendly grunt and power in any gear just makes this motorcycle an absolute hoot to twist out of corners, cut through the traffic and wiggle through tight country roads. Swinging your leg over the Street Twin instantly brings a smile to your face because the bike just feels so natural and neutral. The Street Twin has a very magical seat height of 760 millimeters. It means someone like me at 5 foot 7, 5 foot 8 inches tall, I can get both feet flat on the floor. Fire up the engine and the twin exhaust produce an awesome throbbing sound that in my opinion puts its bigger sister, the Speed Twin, to shame. Elsewhere, the Street Twin comes equipped with a single Brembo caliper at the front, teamed with a 310mm single disc to do all the important stopping, while a single pot Nissan caliper operates at the back to keep things steady with plenty of bite. 
The KYB suspension handles everything that you can throw at them. Big bumps and unsettled roads are soaked up and smoothed out. Packed with throttle by wire, two riding modes, ABS, traction control and a torque assist clutch to help you harness the grunt, the Street Twin offers a subtle blend of time-honoured looks with the modern safety tech you'd expect from a Triumph. The finish is high quality, unlike other manufacturers whose finishing touches can be a bit flaky, wear or scuff easy, the Street Twin feels solid and ready to tackle the elements, harsh rides and long miles. So here we have the updated edition Triumph Street Twin. <laughs> I already love the sound of that uh, engine. It's got a very satisfying whistle. Very nice. I just mentioned the exhaust note there, and just coming up the gears, that's, uh, these twin exhausts just have a very satisfying whistle to them. And, uh, I feel very at home on this bike already. I've only just set up a minute ago, and already it's very nice. I cut the butters nice and comfortable on this seat, very low seat height. The gearbox is nice and snappy. And, uh, down the gears. Nice burble, nice rumble of the exhaust as you're uh, cruising through that corner. Uh, that's got some go, hasn't it? Of course, so this uh, this Street Twin is the updated version of the Street Twin. Um, in 2019, Triumph made some uh, some very subtle changes, some subtle updates to the bike. And uh, you might not notice them when you're looking at it, but uh, uh, peak power has been increased by 18%. So uh, it's, it's, this bike now produces 65 brake horsepower and a very healthy, a very exciting 80 newton meters of torque, which is what this bike is all about. That 900cc high torque engine just, just wants to drag you to where you want to go. Oof, that is, you know, I didn't expect it to pull as much as it's pulling. I really didn't. Just in third gear there, just, just cruising along and just pulling on that throttle. So recently on the channel, you might have seen that I reviewed the uh, the Tribe Speed Twin, the larger sibling to this bike. And uh, I think I mentioned it was a wolf in sheep's clothing, that 1200cc high torque engine just propelled you, pulled you into the next dimension. And so jumping onto this smaller Street Twin, um, I was quite looking forward to the challenge really, because it's all, it's quite easy to get overexcited about those big engines, big performance, big spec bikes, and then, Oh, that's great. <laughs> and jumping onto this smaller bike, I, I was a little bit worried that, you know, w w you know, would it be exciting? Will I, you know, will I really be able to notice the benefits of, of, of the smaller bike? And um, I'm just throwing this thing around on these country roads. It's not uh, the best conditions at the moment. We are still in the peak of British winter. Um, and in fact, today was the last sunny day until we have uh, apparently lots of snow coming. So I really was uh, really wanted to get outside and, uh, and and review this bike. So yeah, I was slightly concerned about jumping on this bike and trying to really you know, see the benefits of it, but goodness me, it feels very much like the Speed Twin in terms of the pull, just, just pulling on that throttle and the bike really does pull. Um, but the seat height is obviously considerably lower 
This is probably the lowest seat height I've ever ridden on a bike before. My knees are a little bit bent. I usually put my, uh, my feet, as you can see, on the peg, my toe on the peg, so my knees are quite bent. So I'm gonna see how that feels after a, you know, a bit of riding, whether that's uncomfortable or not. Um, but yes, this is a, a very um, user-friendly and it just, yeah, it just wants to be thrown around and, and that whistle from the exhaust. Hello. And just slowing it down. Of course, on the uh, the Street Twin Triumph uh, in the 2019 update, they um, installed a Brembo front caliper. It has a single disc on the front, single Brembo caliper on the front, but it has been upgraded. So I will give you some feedback on how that feels. Um, we have some traditional cartridge front forks here, all designed to soak up the bumps really and make the journey a bit smoother. But um, yeah, this bike, this bike is you know, really catered for those, those kind of urban environments, but also very at home at doing those, those longer distances. Um, I don't think I will be chasing any sports bike down on the, uh, on the Street Twin. But um, with the upgraded horsepower and torque, this bike has, uh, there's no, <laughs> you're not going to struggle looking for fun on this bike. I can assure you of that. I'm, Yes, I'm a little bit gobsmacked to be honest. A little bit gobsmacked already. Just bring it around. Isn't it? Yeah, with the seat height be quite low, you feel quite low to the ground and it's it's quite cool, it's quite exciting. that front brake a bit, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, lots of bite there. Lots of bite on that uh, Brembo front caliper there. It's very, very reassuring. Now, it is a little bit chilly today here in the UK, and I realised um, when Triumph were very uh, gracious to drop this bike off for me to a uh, test, I got very excited because it has the uh, heated grips. So let's just try and... Oh, got me the care on. Let's just install the... In, in, grips low high let's put it on high quite bumpy roads here and that suspension is doing a nice job of just soaking up the bumps a little bit bouncy a little bit bouncy but um, but you know manageable it's uh, Yeah, the uh, gearbox is very nice and snappy. We've got a five-speed gearbox here. There is no quick shifter on the bike. It is a traditional setup. And uh, move over. Thank you. But uh, you, you might think, oh, only five gears. But with that uh, high torque engine, it doesn't really matter what gear you're in. Um, you don't really need six gears on the bike. It's quite. Uh, Despite having five gears, it's still very versatile as an engine. Do you know what? I'm going to go on record and say that this bike has a better sounding engine than the Speed Twin. I do like it. This is... Oh, it's a good sound. So if you are concerned that uh, the 65 brake horsepower, 80 newton meters of torque from this twin, you know, might not be enough for you, might not be exhilarating enough, then I can assure you it is plenty enough. I didn't expect the bike to pull and really drag you as as much as it is. Any gear, just pull it. And, oof. So I have mentioned the riding position earlier in the uh, video and uh, 
just like to reiterate just how user-friendly and neutral the riding position is. The only concern I do have is that, you know, my legs are quite bent and I usually put my toes on the pegs and so there is a bit of a bend in the knees and uh, so I'm going to be interested to see how that feels after, you know, an amount of riding but in terms of, you know, the handlebars, the, you know, they're very commanding, they're very wide, my shoulders are back, I'm much more upright than I am on the Speed Twin, the larger sibling to this bike. So it's a much more neutral riding position. There's more weight on my butt. So there's hardly any weight on the wrists at all. Meaning when I'm braking, there's forces are going forward rather than down onto my wrists and causing any discomfort. So a much more neutral and commanding riding position. And at the same time though, with that upright position, you get to, you feel like you want to throw the bike around, especially going into corners. It really does kind of, Give you a great confidence boost and just feel like you want to throw the bike around and have fun on it all those other bikes the competition to these bikes like the ducati scrambler you know they're all about fun and the trendy hipsters and you know being urban cool and i i feel the street twin you know has a much more sensible kind of you know it's positioned in a much more sensible kind of manner and uh, I didn't know how much fun this bike would be to ride, but I'm already having probably more fun on this bike than I did on the Speed Twin. The Speed Twin was exhilarating and powerful and, you know, you know, the top of the range in terms of the Bonneville Roadsters. But yeah, I love the fact that this seat height is so low, I could put my foot, both feet flat on the floor. So, such a novelty for me. And, um, and so it just, yeah, it just oo it oozes confidence when you jump on the bike. You just want to get on a ride and throw it around, put it into corners. So if you are looking for your first bike, your first big bike, or you're looking for, you know, a bike that, to come back into riding, you've been off riding for a while, and you want a bike that can you know, build your confidence in and feel right at home as soon as you put your leg over, then this bike really should go on your radar for sure. Especially if you're wanting one of these, you know, modern heritage looking machines, the classic bike profile, the round headlight. This bike should really be up there. Riding for several hours on the Street Twin through the cold British winter was an absolute delight. Um, I actually lost track of time, to be honest. Um, with the lack of a clock on the dash, there's no clock there, and with the tiny amount of fuel that the Street Twin used up in almost three hours, I would have kept going had I not started to feel hungry and need the bathroom. In terms of discomfort, there wasn't any. Uh, hands were toasty warm thanks to the heated grips. The seat had plenty of cushioning for my behind. The bars were nice and wide with zero weights pressing down on my wrists. And even at good speeds, the curved dash clock seemed to help push the wind blast away from my chest. So that was a great added bonus. What surprised me the most was the torque, the grunt the slim profile of the bike, giving it a lightweight feel, and the wide bars, making it an absolute hoot to wiggle into position and command the road. In fact, the whole bike surprised me. When you think of hipster, fun, classic bikes, you instantly think of Ducati Scramblers or the XSR 700. But here is a Triumph, stacked with torque, competitively priced at 8,100 pounds, and so user-friendly. Park it up outside a cafe, at the store, at work. It's a bike you'll love to admire from a distance, but cannot wait to get back on and get dirty. It's a bike you'll want to ride and go on adventures with. A perfect all-round timeless experience for new and returning riders alike. Now, at the start of this video, I mentioned that the Street Twin held a secret, and you may be wondering what that is, and it's all quite simple, really, and something that I discovered after several hours of just riding this fantastic bike. The secret to the Street Twin is just how many times it will surprise you. So there you have a showcase and first ride of the Triumph Street Twin. Is this bike on your radar? Do you own the Street Twin yourself? Please drop a comment below and join the discussion. Let us know what you think about this fantastic Bonneville from Triumph. 
If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to see future motorcycle content and give a thumbs up to support the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. I've been Eddie Set Go. I hope you ride safe. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.